Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for some more Tarkov PvP highlights. Today we're going to be taking a look once again at the Remington Sass. I got a raid for you guys here on Woods. We're going to be using a suppressed Sass with a Bravo 4X with a Burris Fastfire Red Dot on top. The Red Dot is great for killing players close in, but also it's great for spotting people afar and then quick switching to the 4X for the easy lineup headshots. Now, the Remington Sass doesn't get used as much as it used to because of its price point. You're able to get a Thal or an M1A that arguably do the same thing for far cheaper and more customization options than the Remington Sass. And for that reason, I feel like there should be an incentive to actually use this weapon and opposed to guns like the M1A or the Thal because it is locked behind a quest which I do feel the developers probably should remove just because this gun is so underused anyway and possibly adapt the price point of this weapon because it is rather expensive. One of the most expensive weapons in the game with around 1700 USD for the base gun not including the suppressor uh, getting the optics set up for it. So despite its drawbacks it does have really good ergonomics and it feels good. It's very accurate accurate, it's reliable, it hits hard using M80, M61, M62 rounds, so it, the gun doesn't suck, it's just pretty expensive to get your hands on and modify. That being said, let's jump into a woods game, I'm going in with the sass, and let's go hunt some PMCs. Uh, there's a guy running right to left in the middle of the lumber camp right now. So we're not going to be walking right now, we're going to be running because I got a PvP. Yeah, so it was at 27.5. So yeah, about about like Oh, Kevin's get Kevin's getting back to me now on the music question. We'll uh we'll see what he has to say after this raid, okay? He's like all good, buddy. No worries. Sorry. I was on I was at Thanksgiving. So yeah. I figured that's what he was doing. I felt like such an ass cuz I forgot that it was American Thanksgiving. I was asking him these questions. Man, the Bravo, the Bravo feels like it's got way more zoom than the hammer. Yeah, this guy took a lot of 308. What most of the mission are you on right now? None. I'm done. Yeah, I got them all done uh, on Saturday. We completed part eight in our second try, and we almost got it on the first try. 
It was very close. We got three Mosin kills and I could have got the fourth, but I just, I didn't risk it. I used an MP5 to kill the other guy. You reload way too often? I know, it's a bad habit. It goes back to my my days of uh, being a kid and uh, playing arcade games. I swear to God, we used to reload nonstop and uh, with those blue and red guns every single time. It's just, a, it's a bad habit. I just can't kick it. Just can't kick it. Time crisis, yep. All those. Ooh, what? I was gonna say, like, a damn. I think the first one should have done it, but. Oh, Gilly Freak, you son of a bitch. I hate you, but I love you at the same time. <laughs> I've never found the Kibiki in raid. I never. One thing I haven't done. Ah, man, I've got an itchy, itchy ear. Oh, fuck. The itches. God damn it. Almost got caught in the itch. Yeah, I got like an itch right on the top of the, my head where my band runs across my hair. Oh, he's not dead. What? I thought I saw him drop. Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought I spotted him tumble. Oh, he's dead. Ba -ba -ba. Damn. Seriously thought, uh, seriously thought I spotted him tumble the first time. Hey, Dark, no problem, man. I'm glad I could help. I'm leaving in style. Thanks for the Mosin video. Helped a lot. No, you don't have to stay in the Axeville zone. Nice knees. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Alright. Going out like a VIP.